and make a teapot. It's so good. Good morning, how are you? In case you missed the video that came out on Monday, look at my new little makeup corner. I still like doing my makeup on the floor, but um, now I have this with the same lighting as the den, which is actually game changing. This was Jordy's idea. I haven't like made over this corner yet. I'm doing that in a future video, but I just couldn't wait to set it up. And look, now I have this like whole new filming spot unlocked. So that's been awesome. I'm, I'm really excited to spend the day with y'all today. Um, we have some fun things on the books. We have girls night and I'm excited for that. I might try to fit in getting blood work done, but you have to do that fasted and I had oat milk. It's close, so I can always just go and ask them if that's okay, but would love to get that off the to-do list. So getting dressed today, I got an exciting opportunity. I got an email from my favorite, Everline. So I'm getting to work with Everline on today's video. We can pick out an outfit together, but I pulled a couple things from my closet that I have literally had for like five, six years that are just such staple pieces. Mind you, some of these things I have had this style for years, but my sizing has changed a lot in the last couple years. So some of these things I've had to rebuy in a size up. Everlane doesn't seem to give codes to creators, but they do offer just to everybody 15% off your first purchase when you like order through their website. So that's a good hack if you haven't ordered from them before in the past. Y'all also know that like, all I do is try to find pants that fit my body type because it's so freaking hard. And there is, I think about three spots that I can comfortably and confidently buy pants and Everlane is one of them because they have some styles that already work for Curve. They sell some styles in Curve with like different inseam lengths too, if you're a little bit taller like me, so that's great. And they're just, they're flattering and they're comfortable. They've been a go-to for a long time for me. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we can get dressed for the day. Okay, here's just a few kind of staple favorites of mine from over the years. I'll link all of these down below. Those links also do help to support my channel, which we love. Thank you, Everlane. But first off, a simple tee. A simple tee is such a building block for layering, for all sorts of things. This is the boxy tee. It has a little bit more of a relaxed fit. It's organic cotton, which I love, and also the price of these are so good. And then these jeans, these are jeans that I did rebuy in a size up because I have loved them for a long time. They're called the way high jean, but these are the curvy way high jean. And they have several inseam lengths. This is the longer one. I think it's 29 and a half inches, and it goes all the way down to my ankle, and I'm kind of tall. They are quite cute and quite comfortable. So I will link these. I know you've seen me lit in this one for probably half of the fall and winter days for the last, I don't know, when did this come out? Maybe three years. This is the half zip sweater in Lux Merino. I have a blue, I have like a deep red. I just kind of cycle through these because they're really cute and comfy. It's so cozy. It is like the coziest. And of course, these are the first curvy pants I ever discovered in my life. These are the curvy 90s cheeky jean. They're kind of like the OG. This is one that I probably could stand to size up one more size in because I've had this size for a while, but these are so tried and true. I get the longer inseam in this one as well. It's a bit shorter than the way high. I think it's 28 and a half inches. And so these still go to my ankle, but are literally a little bit shorter. And last but not least, this is probably what I'm gonna wear today. This is such a good layering top. This is called the Boxy Oxford. I love how it has a bit more of a structured fit because it's a shirt, but it reads a little shacket-y. You could button it up and wear it like as a shirt, like half tuck it, do something a little more almost like business casual, or you could wear it open with a tank underneath and kind of treat it more like a shacket. And then these pants, <laughs> y'all have also probably seen me wear these pants for forever. I wear the white ones a ton. The white ones are so cute. This shade color makes me think of the 2021 trip that I took all along the East Coast with Jordy. We like, I wore these almost every day in New York. These are the utility barrel pant. I love these because they're, they, they don't necessarily have like a curve, but the shape of them are so curve friendly. So you can actually size down a little in the waist because there's still extra room in the hips. Anyways, it's always such a pleasure and a dream to get to work with Everlane on a video. I'll have all those pieces linked down below for y'all. Such good staples and oh, oh no, okay. I just opened my email. 
Well, there's just a couple things that I was gonna quickly do before we head out and maybe try to get my blood work done. Maybe I'll bring headphones to my appointment so that I can be reviewing one of the videos while I'm there. But there's one that has to go live tomorrow and had some edits. So that's the one that I really need to make sure that we get going. And also, I need to be drinking a lot of water in case I do get to get my blood done today. I had posted a story on Instagram of filling up our water, um, being like me showing Jordy that I don't need him, I can do his chores, because <laughs> he's on tour. I never got so many questions of people being like, wait, I'm so confused, why do you get water? A lot of people from different states too, and then a lot of people asking about this. Here are my answers. First off, we normally keep it in the laundry room, but it was just so heavy that I barely made it in the front door, and I was like, this is fine. This is fine while Jordy's gone. There's a spot in Carlsbad called Carlsbad Alkaline Water. And it's this super old aquifer. Aqua, no, I always say that. Aquifer is a chapstick. Aqua, what's the word? Water reserve, we'll just say that, under the ocean. And it comes up in Carlsbad. And it has been tested as like one of the healthiest waters I think in all of America. Okay, it was declared as a historic site and monument in 1955, but aquifer. Okay, that's well, not that far from aquifer. Aquifer. It is a 17,000 foot deep aquifer protected by 200 feet of non-porous clay and 1,500 feet of granite rock under the ocean. It takes about 9,500 years for the water to get its way through the substrata and then one block off the Pacific Ocean and then discharged into their well there. Our water from our sink, we had that tested. And even when it goes through like the filter in our fridge, it is so bad. Like it is so bad. I think San Diego has one of the worst water quality water, like out of anywhere. So we just go fill that up for drinking water and that is five gallons and I fill it up about once a week, which is more water than they recommend you to drink in a day. So I'm doing pretty good. And that's not including like all the other things I drink. I drink a lot of juice and kombucha. And honestly, when I do my electrolyte water, I just use it from the fridge because I can't taste it. I should probably use Carlsbad water for that too. That is answering all the questions. I just ordered the um, container on Amazon. I'll link it. Their website is so funny. It clearly has not been updated since like 1992. <laughs> I'm thinking as my little, um, bribery to myself to go out and actually do this blood work is then afterward I might stop by and pick up I, I, I run out of all makeup at the same time either that or I just ignore it until there's so many things that I'm out of and I'm like okay it's time but I need to take pictures of the shades of all these this concealer is pretty much dry and gone this mascara has been dry for weeks now and I keep just adding water to it and then the brow pencil has that much left, almost done with that. And then I don't know if it's time for me to just finally go ahead and rebuy this bronzer. It's been over a year. <laughs> and then remember in the Life Admin Day video when we tried to fix all the whites? This still has all these stains that won't come off. Can you see? Part of me is like, I should probably change that shirt, but I also really don't want to. So I might just like keep my outer shirt kind of covering it. Well, we got it done. It took a few tries. I told the lady, I was like, yeah, I, I get my blood done a lot and uh, I'm told I'm a hard stick and they always tell me to tell the next person to use a butterfly. And I know you probably hear that from everybody that everybody says that they're hard stick. And she's like, yeah. And she was feeling around. She's like, I feel like this vein's good. Like I'm not gonna use the butterfly. And I was like, okay, you do you. And then she couldn't get it. She was digging around. She's like, okay, I'll be back. But I'm so hungry. I brought a couple chomps and I'm gonna run by and pick up the couple makeups I'm out of on my way back home. Okay, 
got in and out of there, essentials only. I'm meeting a couple girlfriends tonight for a Pilates class and maybe dinner, we'll see, but um, the same friends are hanging out all day. They both have today off, one is a night nurse, and she's like, we're at the estate sale warehouse. And I'm like, I could maybe swing by on my way home. I'll, let's just see, let's just see if en route, they're still there by the time I get there. How far is it from here? My maps aren't working. Why aren't they working? Oh, I'm just gonna start driving that way and see how quickly I get there and if, if they're still there. Walking up to the estate sale warehouse. Let's see if we got any friends in here. I bet they're on this side. The old side is still the better side in my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're yeah. <laughs> Leah found these M napkins. I don't know if I need them, but then look at those candlesticks she found. Those are so pretty, boom. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Tell me I don't need this. It's a lighthouse painting and look at the frame and the price is 125 and I feel like I feel like the frame is worth more than that alone. Is it a real painting? It's kind of like psychedelic. I'm still looking for a frame for a DIY project, but I don't think any of these are big enough. I literally don't think any of these are big enough. Oh, wait a second. Wait, did I say 48 by? Oh, this is a little. It might barely work. 36, the, out, the outside. Close. Oh, uh, da, da. It's one inch short this way. Let's see how much different they really actually. Wait a minute. They're kind of the same. Oh, this one is wider. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. Hopefully, it's heavy. It's no, this one's light, which is nice because the other one's heavy. So I really hope I was just lucky because I've been looking for a frame for a long time, as you guys know, to do a little DIY art project in the bedroom. I'm gonna do it the same video that I make over the desk, but I, I don't know if it's gonna quite work because I bought this frame that has, it almost like clamps things in it, like it has a metal frame around the side that opens up and clamps. So I was gonna clamp fabric in it and then put some sort of cute frame around it. It's 36 by 48 inches. This is 36 by 47 inches. So I just don't know how I'm gonna make that work. But they today discounted all the frames half off. So that massive frame was 20 bucks. Which if you know anything about frames, frames can be hundreds of dollars. This one's nothing so special, but it's so close to being right that I, uh, I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. And if that works, I will be so thankful and lucky. But if not, then I don't know. But you know what I kind of wanna do? I kind of want to continue this on being a fun girls day and go see if communal has released any of their fall drinks yet or maybe a new matcha because all of the little coffee shops around here are releasing all their new fall drinks and communal is the one spot I haven't checked and it's right here and I'm feeling very tired I don't know if it was fasting until noon and then giving a lot of blood or what but I'm feeling like a little out of it so maybe just checking just checking for a little matcha could be kind of nice I fully intended to get a matcha, but they didn't have any new matchas, but they had this new drink. And then they also had these cute glass cups. Look at these, I figured I could reuse this for my matcha lattes at home. But it um, is an, a shaken sea salt espresso with oat. And I love salt. I put salt on everything. I put salt on ice cream. Guys, yeah. nothing is better than like a really high quality vanilla ice cream with good olive oil and sea salt on it. I know it sounds crazy, just trust me, I put salt and every, I put salt on my cereal. Molly Boz also does, also does that. I don't know if you know who she is, but she's she was on Bon Appetit. Now she's just like a chef creator. And um, I've always done that. And I'm like, Molly gets it. Anyways. Whoa. It's like so salty, but I really like it. Well, you know the drill. I got a caffeinated drink and I'm in the car. And so um, it's time for a car chat. Jordy is gone on tour as you've probably picked up on. And I know I've also had a lot of people be like, don't say when he's gone on tour, that's not safe. But literally his tour schedule is posted publicly everywhere because that's how people know when the shows are. So there's kind of like no getting around that. So it's just fact of the matter what it is. But this is the conversation we were having about how I was like, obviously so bummed for him to leave. Love having him around. He's the greatest partner and he makes every day so fun. 
But then he basically reframed it for me. And he was like, I know that we met in a different timing than you had in mind for yourself. You can't really control when you meet the love of your life. And I tried to control it, but I met him so soon. And he was like, it's kind of cool that with my career and with traveling and being on the road, like you get a few months a year to like very much still live that single girl life, like completely for yourself and just do all the things that you would have done had we not met. And I was like, actually, that is really great to reframe it that way. I'm a person that really values my independence. I love time alone, which is also hilarious because I've been also a person that like loves being in a relationship and is pretty much always in a relationship. And it's funny that those two things correlate and coexist. So in some ways, I'm really grateful to have a spouse that has to travel for work a big majority of the year. And I know that that's a pretty common thing. Like it's more rare to maybe have a touring musician spouse, but so many people travel for work. So many people have to go, you know, a sales trip has to go to their sales territory once a month or whatever. Like, I feel like it's a pretty common thing. It's been a nice way to reframe things and it's been kind of fun. And I'm just living for the girls right now. And I'm having the best time. I really am. And I'm really enjoying my salty espresso. I do gotta go home and actually get a couple important adult things done, but cheers to the girls. Me and my frame are home. Gonna go set this aside for the future project that we'll be doing in a vlog soon and say a prayer that it either works or I come up with a creative solution to add one more inch to the height of this frame. But I do have quite a bit of work to do. I think I'm going to treat myself by doing the work laying down. I've been really in my lay down work era lately. My energy has been so low lately, like so low. My blood pressure has also been really low and I don't know what that means, but I've just felt like I've needed a lot of rest lately. So I'm listening to my body and basically every time I do computer work, I do it laying down, which is great. Cause that's like a good, like four hours of laying down a day at least. I'll take it, I'll take it. Hello, it's been a couple hours. I just sat up and looked at myself in the viewfinder and said, what has happened with my hair? But got a good amount of stuff done and already got some lab results back, just all the urine stuff, but that was so fast. I got about two hours till Pilates and I think, I don't want to ruin my dinner if we go out and get dinner, but I think I would love to eat some more before working out. I'm gonna show you my favorite little easy high protein snack or meal. I do this as a meal sometimes too, it requires Three things. I showed you this once before, but some of y'all might not have been here for it. This curry chicken salad from Trader Joe's is so good. There's three servings in here and there's 11 grams of protein. This chili crisp oil, fly by Zhang. Trader Joe's also has a chili crisp oil, but honestly, I really don't like it. And this chili crisp oil, I love so much. Drizzle a little bit of this on top of this. Boom, like that. And then I eat it with tortilla chips. That combo, that combo is so good. I think after the snack, I'm gonna do a podcast tiny. That is literally my highest form of self-care. I have kind of moved out of the investigative journalism podcasts for a second, but I've been in my health podcast moment. I've been listening to a lot of Organic Olivia, what's the juice? I've been listening to a lot of Skinny Confidential. They have on some more scientific guests. I like those. I wish you could go back and see the podcast you've listened to on Spotify. There has to be a way, but I'm kind of still new to Spotify. Oh, the Blonde Files podcast. She has some good ones too, where she interviews some some interesting, more scientific guests. So that's what I've been listening to. But I also want to say cleaning the house, even just walking around and tidying is a workout. Like I've been noticing my steps that I track through my ring and sometimes I'll walk a couple miles just around the house tidying things up. The day of the shower, I don't think I told y'all this, the baby shower that I hosted, I did not leave the house a single time. Like Jordy took Max on walks. I didn't even step outside of the front door and I walked 12 miles that day, 12 miles, just setting up and tearing down the baby shower. So household little chores, tidying things, setting things up, having people over, cleaning, cooking dinner, all of that really adds up to the movement you get in a day. So love that for me. Just now when I was tidying, oops, I'm throwing my phone. I found a couple things that I had ordered a while ago back 
when I had the delusion of trying to do a whole bedroom makeover video in one go. I explained this in previous vlogs, but I decided not to do that video because I felt like I was just gonna purchase things for the sake of being able to do everything in one video instead of like taking my time actually finding the perfect things. But I had set a couple things aside for like when I filmed that video. One of them is this pillow. And so I ordered a pillow insert not that long ago. Oh, it's like vacuum sealed, that makes sense. I don't know how it's gonna look on the bed. This might take a while to inflate. So this is one of the two things. It's kinda cute. What do y'all think? I do kind of feel like scale wise, I need a long lumbar pillow. Give me your thoughts. I do love that pillow and I'll probably put it somewhere, but it's okay if it's not there. The other thing I got, I only got one of these to see how we like it before I maybe get more. Look at this light switch panel. <laughs> I sit in bed and I, I stare this way and I can see this light switch right here going to our bathroom. So I thought, what if we make this a little more of like an art piece? It didn't come with screws, so I'm hoping that the existing screws don't look bad. Oops, sorry. Oh, I forgot to mention this jacket. <laughs> I put this on to show y'all the friend that I ran into at the estate sale warehouse, Sarah. She made this jacket. This is an Everlane jacket, but then she painted it. Isn't that cute? She gave it to me a few weeks ago. Can't quite get the lower screw all the way screwed in. I don't know. Pretty cute. It's a small little upgrade. Wait, let's test it sitting from bed. Max, what do we think? What do we think? Do we like the upgrade? It definitely adds a little something. It makes it feel a little more special and intentional over here instead of just like the cheapest option you could ever get for a faceplate. The bathroom only has one other light switch. I mean, I guess there's this one that goes to my closet too. So for in here, I would need to buy two more. So let me know your thoughts on this one. Unfortunately, they don't make them with the three rockers, which would be the bedroom one. That's a bummer. That's the only switch in this whole room was that one with the three rocker. So let me know your thoughts on this and on this pillow. I do think maybe it needs to be a longer lumbar pillow. Well, it's about time for me to get dressed and head on to Pilates. I might take Max on a quick little stroll before that, but I'm hopeful for Pilates and then sushi. We'll see, that wasn't my idea, but I do hope that comes to fruition because that is like my dream evening. But I also wanted to say thanks again to Everlane for partnering with me on this video, actual dream sponsor. But I will have all the pieces I showed y'all linked down below. Love them all, have loved them for a long time. Let's end off this video on a sweet little montage, girls night.